The mission, if you choose to accept it, is to figure out what these fonts are in this vintage advertisement. And this is a really old vintage advertisement. This is from November 1939. And what I like in this advertisement is really two things. This is Mickey Rooney on the left and Judy Garland on the right, two big movie stars back in the day. I really like this font that says Babes in Arms. And I really like the font of the last name Garland and Rooney. So in this video, I'm gonna to try to find fonts that'll match the last names and also the name of the movie. Let's jump in. Okay, so the site that I'm on is called fontsquirrel.com. And what I'm gonna do is go to this black bar here at the top, and right near the right-hand side, there's a font identifier. So I'm gonna click on that. Now the font identifier says upload an image. And that's what I'm gonna do now. I'm gonna upload that vintage advertisement, the whole vintage advertisement, right into this identifier. All right, this thing is pretty intuitive to use. I'm just gonna scroll down here a tiny bit so we can see it. And I've got this blue box around the vintage ad, so I can just, drag it around. You can see here these, these little nubbies in the corners so I can move it around and right now it says no shapes detected to match rate at the top. So what you want to do is just move this blue bar down so that it actually covers some text. So I can do that. It'll now highlight the text that I want and now I'll click match rate. Okay, and let's take a look at the result now. As I look here, I can see my image has been selected. So if your image looks a bit weird, you can just go hit the back button and you can reselect that little square. And as I scroll down, you may find the occasional font that matches. You can see here as I scroll down, it's popping up in this little window down at the bottom as well. And I can scroll through and I can see if there's fonts that are good enough that they match what I'm looking for. This one, for example, is pretty close. It's not exact. There's really two reasons that I use Font Squirrel. One is to find an exact match or very close to an exact match. However, the second one, this is the little hidden tip in this video, is if you can't find an exact match, then it's a great opportunity to sell the font as a digital download yourself. This is a great looking font and I can't find an exact match. So it may be an opportunity to create that font yourself. And I've got a video to show you how to do that at the end of this video. Now you may get mixed results with this. So with this blue box, I'm going to now select the word Garland and it will start looking and trying to read that. And you can zoom in as well. And I'm just scrolling in so you can actually make this box pretty accurate. I don't want to include the Judy. I just want to include the Garland. And so I'm going to make the box like that. Now it's a bit fuzzy because it's an old scan of a magazine. So when I scroll down, it may not be an exact match, but here we can see there's actually some pretty good matches that have come back. Definitely good enough for my purposes to use in print on demand or for a digital download if I wanted to make some sort of digital t-shirt design. So these are great. And we can see now there's different prices attached to them, but you've also got an option now to look at free fonts as well. So if I scroll on down, I'll eventually find a free font. Here's one, Fontzillion Free. And when I click on it, it will actually take me to that web page where I can then download that font. So some of them are free for personal use, some of them are free for commercial use, and some of them do cost money. But the nice thing is, as I scroll down, I've got lots and lots of different options. You never know what cool original funky fonts you might find that you weren't even planning on using. But you might say, man, that's, that'll be good for another day. I hope you found this helpful. I actually do like Font Squirrel because it can find really cool fonts that I might not otherwise wonder about. And I can see here there's free fonts right along the right hand side. But if you don't find the font that you're looking for, it may be an opportunity to sell it yourself.